Hey guys, one of the kids I help has been having trouble with these two problems here. We've got some algebra for us to solve today. I thought rather than just write out some solutions, I'd make a video instead. So basically the, the tricky thing about these ones is the thing we're looking to solve, well the, the variable we're looking to solve for is in the power. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a little bit creative with the bases and try and get all of the bases in each of these two problems to be the same thing. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's just give these a crack. So for the first one, hopefully all you guys will be able to see that we can take all of these to the power of 2. 8 is 2 to the power of 3 and we'll come to this side of the equation in a sec. So when we do these, what we want to go is we're going to go 2 to the power of 3. Now what I like to do is I like to put that in a bracket because that's what our 8 used to be. Then I'm going to put an x there. So that's what we have originally. We're going to multiply that by 2 to the power of 2. And we're also going to divide that by 2 to the power of 3. Now, 0 0.25. Now we know that that is 1 over 4. So this is going to be 2 squared. Yeah, hopefully. Yep, we all get that. Good, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make this 1 divided by 2 to the power of 2. All right, so what we can then do is I'm going to multiply. There are multiple ways we can go about this, but the way I'm going to do it to make it easier, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 3, and that will give me, and I'm going to also multiply this x into the bracket here. So we're going to be left with 2 to the power of 3x. Now, hopefully you guys are aware of that index law where we have a to the n all the m equals a to the n times m. So, once we do that, we're going to then multiply that by 2 squared, which is just there. And then that is now equal to, we're going to, 2 to the 3, we're going to take over to the other side. We've got 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2. Cool. So, we can then use our index law when we multiply um, things together. We add the indices on this side, so this is going to be now 2 to the 3x plus 2. And that's going to be equal to, now with when we divide, opposite of times, we're going to take. So that's going to be equal to 2 to the power of 3 take 2. Now... So what we're left with is we're left with 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 1. Now, once we get our equation looking a bit like this, we can then, I like, you know, tell kids we drop the base. You know, you can do whatever kind of sound effect afterwards you like. But uh, what that basically means is we have 3x plus 2 equals 1. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, hopefully, from here to know we just take the 2 over the other side by minusing by 2, and we're left with 3x equals minus 1. And then we divide both sides by 3 to finish up with x is equal to negative 1 over 3. And that, for the first one, is our solution. All right. So, again, let's go to the next one. Maybe I'll change colour. Um, what's this colour look like? Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Let's see what happens. Um, so, again, like we have over here, 9, 3, 27. I would say we're going to make all of these 3 to the power of something. All right, so we've got 9 is 3 squared. And like we did in the other one, I'm going to make that to the 1 subtract x. And that's equal to the square root of 3. Now, hopefully, you guys are well aware 
of this index law if we have a to the power of 1 divided by n this is equal to the nth root of a so if we have therefore 3 to, this is like saying the square root of 3 so this is going to be equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and that is also being divided by 27 which is 3 cubed so I'm going to put that in a bracket and then outside the bracket I have x plus 2 great so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go about multiplying out both of these brackets so that goes to 3 now 2 times 1 is 2 2 times negative x is negative 2x. Now that's going to be equal to 3 to the power of 1 half divided by 3 to the power of 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. Hooray! Now, let's just save ourselves some space. Now what we can do is we can take this over to the other side by multiplying both sides by 3 to the power of 3x plus 6 and we get 3 to the 2 minus 2x times 3 to the 3x plus 6 and that's equal to 3 to the 1 over 2. Cool. So now we can, let's just get rid of this. Now we know that our, if we multiply things with the same base, we can add the powers. So we have 3 to the power of 2 plus 6 is 8. Negative 2x plus 3x is just plus x. And that equals 3 to the power of 1 over 2. Great. So now we have, like we had in the other one, we have just a two things equaling each other with the same bases. We can go about, let's just go up here. We can drop the base. We have 8 plus x equals a half. Now we can take the 8 to the other side and we have x is equal to negative. Now that's going to be 8 over 2 is 16. So negative 15 over 2. So basically with all of these problems when you have a um, variable that you're trying to solve for which is in the power unless you know how to use logarithms and stuff like that the only way you're really going to be able to solve this the only tool that you have in your sort of bag is to make sure you get all of the bases to the same number so you can then get rid of the bases and just make a expression of the powers equaling each other so lads and ladies I hope this video helped if you'd like to see any more videos, uh, subscribe. Send me a comment if you want me to help you with anything. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you again next time.